What's up everyone, Safe Zone here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today we have 25 packs of Tim Hortons 2020-21. Now, as the time I'm recording this, it's getting harder to find these hockey cards. They're almost sold out everywhere in my area in the Ottawa region. Um, there's actually one, a little gas station one, that actually had a ton of these left when everywhere else was sold out. So I ended up purchasing these, actually, these I've actually purchased over the course of a month. Uh, I've just been collecting them because I don't want to just do, here's five hockey cards, here's five uh, packs, here's this, here's that. I wanted to do 25 packs at a time to make it worth your while to come and watch these videos. So I've been slowly getting these. Um, so I have 25 today. I have another one video, my last Tim Hortons video for this year coming out soon, which is 22 packs that I'm going to be going through and that's probably the last um, That I'm going to be doing for Tim's this year just because they're getting harder to find at the time I'm recording this which it's almost near the end of January um, And places started selling out in December, so that's pretty wild So we're just gonna get into it here. What I'm looking for is the trio cards our first pack here I'm recording with my camera for the second hockey card video that I've done so I'm gonna open it up here and see if we can get some trios or some of the rare variants. Uh, we have Phil Kessel, which I'm not sure if I have already. Elias Pedersen, All-Star Standouts. And Thomas Tatar. Um, I'm going to put all my base off to the side. And I'm going to just line up the inserts and zoom in on them at the end. See what we can get. Anders Lee. I'm going to go from the back. Thomas Shabbat. And our first trios card. This is Matthew Kachuk franchise trios. What I actually, sorry, I only read Matthew Kachuk. Uh, Matthew Kachuk, Johnny Goodrow, and Sean Monahan franchise trios for Cal Calgary Flames. That is awesome. My goal whenever this product uh, came out this year is when the Tim's cards came out. These trio cards are worth anywhere from $25 to $40 depending on the team. I planned on trying to get a bunch of these, flipping them, and uh, basically paying for my hockey cards this year. But this is the first one we got, and it's near the end of the Tim Hortons cards. So, um, we'll see how many more we can get. Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, the first card I have of him in the Panthers. Austin Matthews. And we have Roman Josi, or Yossi, um, red die cut card. That's really cool. I know these are at least my last video. I've been getting a lot of doubles. Um, we're hoping, I don't think I have this one in my collection, but we will see. Tuka Rask, Quinn Hughes, and John Carlson die cut red. That is the, one of the most common inserts in my opinion. Um, I hear that from a lot of people actually. With Mark Stone, I actually have a guy that's a uh, wants any of my doubles for Vegas cards for my eBay mystery packs, so I think I already have this one, so I might have enough to send him some Vegas packs. Uh, Dougie Hamilton, and we have uh, Leon uh, All-Star Standouts. I think I already have this one. Hell, I think I already have the uh, Pedersen one as well, but um, we'll see. Some of these, if they are the doubles for the inserts, you might see them on my eBay mystery packs moving forward. Um, likely the $15 mystery packs, so you'll get Maybe an insert. These I classify just as an insert if they're a double. Um, you get a jersey uh, and or an autograph, a rookie, a young guns, a whole bunch of stuff for that $15 uh, free shipping. Steven Stamkos, Kyle Connor, and I thought I'd seen some gold. Jack Eckel, which uh, I'm not familiar. Why is it not focusing? There we go. I had to tap on the screen there, but uh, Jack Eckel in the... Uh, Gold uh, etchings. That's really, really cool. I like that. Put that off to the side. We have no uh, clear cuts yet. But hopefully by the end of this. Sean Coutier. Thomas Shabbat again. And we have our first canvas card, Brad Marchand. That's really cool. Um, I do collect Brad Marchand's. I know that's not something I should really be announcing. Most people uh, hate him. I do, but I do PC him. 
because yeah. Jeff Skinner, Ryan Getzlaff, and Taylor Hall, red die cut. I will take that gladly. Um, I'm not really keen on the die cuts because they are really uh, cheap. They're the lesser valued ones um, out of this year. Oh, what am I doing with this pack here? Elias Pedersen base, Jeff Carter base, and we have Nathan McKinnon, uh, NHL canvas card. I actually love this. I love canvas cards to begin with. If you guys are new to the channel, canvas cards are one of my favorite products. Um, I just love collecting them, among other things, um, for my hockey collections. Nicholas Backstrom. I see something golden behind there. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And Ovi. Gold Etchkins, Alex Ovechkin card. That is pretty awesome. Um, hopefully after this video I'm going to be getting all of my Ovechkin cards to gut. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All of my Ovechkin cards together. And potentially uh, sharing all of my Ovi cards in my collection that I have. Um, nothing expensive, nothing out of the uh, ordinary, but uh, that's something that was requested a while back, and I have yet to do it. Uh, Miro Haskinen, Lanskog, and Matthew Kachuk, All-Star Standouts. I think that might be the second or potentially third time I received that, that, uh, that insert so far this year. We're going to try to speed it up here. Riley Smith. Vegas, Patrice Bergeron, and Mark Shelfie, red die cut. I don't think I have that one so far. At the time I'm recording this, the Pierre-Luc Dubois and Laney trade has uh, just happened just days ago. So that gives you guys an understanding of how far in advance some of these hockey card videos are because uh, I think I still have 30 to 40 hockey card videos already recorded. So this is like back of the line type thing. Probably next season when this one comes out. Tyler Sagan, uh, Herbido, and Ryan Getzlav, Cup winners. Our first Cup winners of the day. Still no die cuts. But that's okay. Cup winners are really nice. Um, I like the photos that they include. Connor Brown. First one getting him today. Mika Zibanejad. I think that's the first time too. And a gold etchings for Carey Price. Forgot about Carey Price for a minute there. Um, I don't like Montreal. I say this all the time on the channel, but I do PC Patrick Waugh and Carey Price. Um, Max stole me too, but he's no longer part of Montreal, so I'm uh, I can continue to hate them. I actually really like uh, Max Domi. Matt Duchesne, one of my favorite players in the NHL. Zach Prezi, and we have a Drazzle. Uh, I always butcher names. I don't know really how to pronounce his last name. Leon, uh, all-star standouts. This is the second one we got in today's video. I almost knocked all my cards going there. Brock Besser. Seth Jones. And Cal Macker. Clear-cut phenoms. Our first clear-cut is exactly one that I would have wanted. Um... I can't tell. His name doesn't look cut off, but it also is because that silver line goes through his name. Um, I'm assuming that's normal. Um, I mean, it doesn't bother me any, so I'm not. It's not worth contacting them over. But that's cool. Our first clear cut of the day. Jamie Ben, John Tavares, and a Nicholas Backstrom Cup winners. That is cool. We're starting to get a, a variety of cards here. We're not getting a, a ton of one insert in particular. I think right now, um, four all-star standouts and four red die-cut cards. Brendan Shen, Roman Yossi, or Josi, I always butcher his name, and a Leon a red die-cut. That's cool. At least we've got no doubles for anything else other than Leon's uh, all-star standout. Matthew Barzal. Carter Hart. Something fell off there, but doesn't look to be anything wrong. 
And then Matthew Brazal, uh, all-star standouts. That's cool. We got his base, and we got his all-star standouts. That is really cool. Um, since this is probably the second last Tim Hortons hockey card video that I'm going to be doing this year, I'm going to be going through the inserts whenever I'm completely done, seeing exactly what I need to... Uh, how do I word this? Exactly what I need to... Uh, or what I want to keep in my collection, and then possibly uh, get rid of cards, or probably put them with mystery packs. Anders Lee, Mitch Marner, and we have Jack Eckel in the red die cuts. My camera's actually flashing right now, the battery's about to die, so we're going to try to speed it up here. David Perron, Alexander Barkov, and we have Malkin red die cut. We only have four packs left, three or four here. Oh, I see one I like. Chris Letang. Sidney Crosby. That's a nice one, I might already have it. And Brad Marchand Cup winners. Next pack here. A Leon base. Kopitar base, and we have Elias Pettersson, All-Star Standouts. I think we got that as the first All-Star Standouts today, um, so that one might be a double. Brock Besser, Matt Murray, I thought it felt like a canvas. Panarin, who I do PC. Um, I think I already have that one though, um, I'm going to have to double check. Um, I think I got that in my first 25 pack video. Last pack here, Jamie Ben. He's here. And an OV Cup winner. I think I already have this one. I'm going to have to double check again, but that is really cool. Here's our update for today. We have one franchise trios for Calgary Flames. We do have a few All Star standouts. We have two of Elias Pettersson, Matthew Brazal, two Drizal. Matthew Kachuk, and there's the doubles in the back. So we did get two doubles for that. We have a pile of the red die cuts. Some really decent uh, cup winners. I think Ovi I already have. I'm going to have to double check, but I'm pretty sure I have that. I already have Panarin uh, canvas, and I'm not sure on the clear cut if I already have it. But out of all these um, 25 packs, I think it's really worth it. I'm going to have to decide if I want to keep this or try to put it on eBay. I'm not sure if the value has held up. Um, gonna have to research that, but comment down below what you guys think of the Tim Hortons cards this year. Are they still available in your area? At the time I'm recording this, there's hardly anywhere left that still has them. So, I'm gonna try to put this video out, hopefully, right now it's near the end of January, hopefully sometime in February. So let me know if you guys still have Tim Hortons cards in your area. I'm gonna leave this here. Please take care. Peace.